So today I'm going to talk about Google Closure Compiler in AM. And this is going to be a new way to uh, minify and actually transpile JavaScript in client libs. thought it was kind of interesting, so I decided to give a presentation on it. <clears throat> so first of all, there is an OSGI service called Granite HTML Library Manager. And as the name would suggest, it's responsible for managing the libraries, uh, specifically client libraries. And this includes configuration to help with compressing code, debugging, caching, uh, gzipping, and timing, and all that good stuff. So the compressor that's been a part of AM for as long as I can remember and it's actually still the default compressor is YUI compressor. Uh, YUI stands for Yahoo UI library, I believe. And this works for JavaScript and CSS, actually. This project has actually been deprecated since 2012. And to my knowledge, I believe it's been open sourced and it's now a community project, but activity seems pretty low and uh, issues don't seem to be resolved in a timely manner, so I'd say it's pretty much dead at this point. It sometimes works, except uh, when compressing external libraries like Angular or Vue.js. Uh, something interesting I've run into a couple times while I've been working here is that uh, a lot of libraries will use uh, words like variable names like int or abstract, which are it's actually legit JavaScript because um, they're not keywords in JavaScript, but they are in other languages. And YUI will actually still trip up on that and throw errors and break. So that's been a big pain point, I think. And that leads to people avoiding using it. So uh, now since 6.2, we actually have Google Closure Compiler. And this is a project that's actively maintained. Uh, to my knowledge, it's used internally at Google and I would imagine many other companies. It supports JavaScript compression, but not CSS compression, unfortunately. And this is a big one for me. It can actually transpile uh, ECMAScript 6. In other words, it can just take your newer version of JavaScript and turn it into the older version of JavaScript that's going to be compatible with most browsers out there today. And this has uh, three compilation levels, white space only, simple, and advanced. Unfortunately, advanced is not feasible for use with AEM, in my opinion, because it imposes restrictions on developers like um, all external references must be explicitly declared, and there's some strange quirks with accessing properties. Um, you either have to use only string notation or bracket notation or only dot notation, and then unused functions are removed if they're not assigned to the window object, and more. Um, so I did some performance comparisons. So on the left, you'll see um, I actually wanted to run jQuery 3 through the compressors, um, but it broke with YUI, and then I wanted to do jQuery 2, and then YUI broke again, so I, I did jQuery 1. And uh, on the left, you can see uh, the file sizes. They're pretty similar. Uh, when all is said and done, you're going to get like a 5% improvement with Google Closure Compiler running on simple. Um, but actually, on the right, you'll see that Google Closure Compiler takes quite a bit longer to compile, 5.3 seconds to YUI's 1.6 seconds. Um, and if you're hearing this and you're a little bit concerned, um, remember that client libs are cached, so this is going to be like a one-time operation, and I, I would think that it would be pretty trivial over time, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. And here's how to use GCC in AM. 
So you have two options. You can run all client libs through GCC or only specific ones. If you want to run all of them through GCC, you're going to want to set uh, HTML lib manager processor JS to main GCC. Uh, if you just want to run specific client libs through GCC, on the folder, you're going to want to set JS processor to min GCC. And AM documentation recommends adding default none. Prior to this, I have no evidence that this does anything. However, if you use default none alone, it can disable minification. So, for example, if you did the first option and you run all libraries through GCC, but you have one that you don't want to run through, you would set JS processor to default none and it would actually skip that. Oh, interesting. Is and, that some, oh, sorry. oh, go ahead. Yeah. Is that something new, this uh, JS processor property? Do you know? Is that a 6.2 new thing? Or is that, can you do that before? Um, you know, I'm not sure actually. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And there also is a CSS yeah. processor property, which will work similarly, although, like I said, GCC doesn't work with. Um, CSS. But you can like skip CSS minification with YUI using that. Does AM documentation recommend adding default none to the OSGI console before you do MinGC to the client library folder? I, or is it all to the client library folder? I think the, that one is specific to the JS processor property in the folder. Does that make sense? Well, it still doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Does my answer make sense? I'll put it that way. Yes. Okay. I think you answered my question to the best of your knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and then it uh, finally it has some options. So uh, there's fail and warning, which hopefully is self-explanatory. It just means if you want it to break when there's a warning, uh, language in and language out. Uh, it actually supports ECMAScript 7, 8, and TypeScript, I think. Um, but I'd be kind of wary of those, and I'd stick with ECMAScript 6, just because I don't know how stable the other ones are. And then, as I mentioned, compilation level. Uh, and, and again, I'd just say stick with a default simple. So I'm going to do a quick demo. Um, so I just have let's see, my little lorem ipsum page here from the AM archetype. And uh, I, have a, I have it pulling in a client lib uh, right here. And so I'll just write some newer JavaScript, like ECMAScript 6. So I'll say something like const. Uh, x equals hello world, and then I'll do like an arrow function, and then I'll just invoke that. So this should just log hello world to the console. Yeah. It's so slow. <laughs> and here we see Hello World and an error uh, that is unrelated, I think. <laughs> I will say that. Sure. No <laughs> <laughs> um, and here, so here you can see that nothing happened, right? So this is still your ECMA 6 not transpiled. And then I'll go ahead and change my OSGI config. Oops. Nope, wrong one. And I'll do minify, and then if I wanted to apply it to all my client libs, I change this. But I'm just going to do JS processor, so I'll skip that. There we go. 
and then on my client library folder, I'll just do JS processor. Uh, and then I'll do min GCC and then I'll add my options with a semicolon and I'll do language in equals ECMAScript 6. I'll go ahead and save that. Okay, and then I will run it. So you, you can have a different, you can use YUI for CSS still, and for JavaScript if you're using this. It's not a all or nothing in Okay. No, I'm asking. a question. Oh, uh, I, think, I think that's what I just saw in the OSGI kicking. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so basically what it would do is across the board it would run min YUI on everything, but then it would uh, do GCC to this, yeah. Yeah, there's a CSS um, compressor and there is a JavaScript compressor. So that's cool. Yeah. It's still use one there for CSS. And so I'll look here. And here we see our const has been converted into var, and then we have our error function turned into an average everyday function. And that is it for the talk. So thanks, hope you enjoyed it, and let me know if you have any questions. I have a question. Yeah.